now that you have researched and maybe you have an idea of what you want to sell, maybe you have, you have an idea of the service you want to promote or anything that you want to do online, the next thing is to set up the shop and maybe put it on a map somewhere on the world where your, sport, where your audience is located. This is very important because online, once you are online, you can sell anywhere in the world from anywhere. Especially if you are doing affiliate, you don't have problems in terms of transporting them. Uh, the products and services to people because that is taken care of by the company or the people who are selling the product directly yeah so first what is important is that google is local what google search is local so mostly they they show the products and services to people nearby so you have to have to identify which location of the world what part of the world am i going to put my w website or business in this will be guided by where the is a, a bit a lot of traffic and demand for that product now for example the best way to do this is to go to google trends now google trends will be showing you what is trending where at what time so you can type in here the kind of service you want to type maybe we are promoting that product we are talking about Herbalife. once you click on that uh it will just take a bit of time but we want to see exactly where in the world it's coming from so okay this location already is saying it's kenya because i'm in kenya but we want to say let's say worldwide we just want to understand which part of the world has a lot of demand for this product so you can see the blue regions here so we want to include uh, low search volume regions too so that we can get a good understanding of this product so one thing you'll notice is that the green zones okay so interest by region here in the blue zones here in namibia has a lot of demand so that tells you something that you can pursue this in this country yeah so you can really find a lot of keywords let's say, let's say shoes now just go to worldwide just to see the demand and you know, the the longer the keyword, the lower the competition it gets. Because you can get that one keyword for, like, let's say, that shoes may be attracting a lot of competition than another keyword like Saturn shoes, uh, Lil Nas shoes, Nike Saturn shoes. So you can see, like, at this time I'm recording this, field, this video during the time of Halloween. So that's where you have breakout keywords like Saturn shoes. Yeah. So if this was something you were targeting to sell, this could be good. So just click on certain shoes. Then let's see where, what part of the world is this key term coming from? As you can see, the blue regions, yeah. Search interest, that is in Cameroon. So maybe there was something that happened around that. And it really sparkle that but that this is a seasonal key term which you may not want to focus on or because it is targeted during a certain time so if you really want shoes maybe you can go to nike shoes then you see which part of the world uh, now let me change this to back to worldwide so you can see interest by region you can see the blue regions again uh, mostly it's uh, USA and uh, Australia. So this gives you a rough idea of which areas you want to target. So if you're getting into a Nike shoe business, most probably you'll want to get into it in the US or in the Australia where there's a lot of such time where you have a lot of chances to sell. But still, you can still do it in the low uh, traffic regions because most of the people where there's low traffic, there's low competition because most people will optimize their websites of their business to the areas with high uh, tr tr amount of traffic. So this is something you really have to know. So you must really do your keyword research right long before you decide to build your website and really understand what's going on. Because so, this will help us to set up uh, the business into a location where you're going to get local traffic for your business. So you can use this tool, Google Trends, to really understand your traffic 
and maybe understand the audiences uh, and stuff. We'll also use other keywords, other keyword research tools later on. So when we'll be building the inner pages of the website, that will be coming in the next video session. Thank you.